Hi guys, it's Graham again and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my August reading wrap up. I'm a little bit belated, um, but yeah, here it is now. Um, so I read a few books in August, mostly poetry, uh, not all of which I enjoyed. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get into the books. So I started the, the month with a book that I started the previous month so I carried it over into uh, into August and that was The Three Act Tragedy um, by Agatha Christie. Uh, this was incredible. I read this as part of Christie Fest which is hosted by uh, Julie from the um, Hungry Bookworm and Lil over at Lil's Vintage World. Uh, I absolutely adored this. This is the 11th appearance of uh, Poirot uh, in a, an Agatha Christie novel and yeah, there are so many red herrings, um, so many clues, so many plot twists, and the the outcome of the of the story is really quite shocking. Um, but yeah, it's brilliant. And the story behind this edition is uh, I was was asked to join in with Christie Fest, and I didn't have. A, a separate standalone edition of, of this book. Um, the only editions that I had were in bind-ups with other uh, with other books and no I wanted a facsimile edition so yeah I went online and I got one and it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Um, so the next book that I read, I'm not doing these in any sort of order in which I read them because yeah I, I just can't. Just can't be bothered. So you're getting them in just whatever order I pick them up. So the next one that I read, um, or the next one that I'm showing you that I read, uh, is Homeland by Barbara Kingsolver. Now this is the story of uh, a family uh, who are, it's a while ago since I read it now, they're Cherokee Indians and uh, the, the grandmother, uh, or is it the great-grandmother, um, Great grandmother has come to to live with uh, the family, and they go on a journey uh, to take her back to the reservation. And when they get there, nothing is the same. Everything has changed. The march of time has taken place, and yeah, everything is different. Um, I enjoyed this. I wish it was longer. This is my first foray into the writing of Barbara Kingsolver, and it won't be my last because I really enjoyed this, and the edition is gorgeous too. Uh, the next thing that I read was uh, a, c a collection of poetry by Douglas Dunn. This is called Elegies, or Eulogies, I think, I'm not sure. Um, I bought this from Hannah Tay's Etsy Club. Etsy Club? Etsy Club? No, Etsy Shop. <laughs> I bought this from Hannah Tay's Etsy Shop. And um, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed this. There was a lot that I didn't quite get. Um, I think the, the poetry deals with grief and with, with loss. Uh, I think Douglas Dunn wrote this uh, after the death of his wife in the 1980s. Um, and there's a couple of poems in here that are set in Dundee, which I quite enjoyed. Um, but yeah, I think like most sort of poetry collections or short story collections, there's not everything you're going to love, but there was a few really, really good ones in here that I adored. Um, but yeah, it's a book that I would probably read again. Um, I really enjoyed it. The next thing that I read was another collection of poetry and I adored this. This was just stunning. Um, it is Imagining Alexandria by Louis de Bernier or de Berniers. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's a gorgeous edition. Um, the back looks like that. And there are beautiful, beautiful illustrations. Let me get a yeah, look. That's just stunning. Um, these poems are a sort of reimagining of uh, Greek poetry. So uh, de Bernier or de Berniers was introduced to Greek poetry while he was in Corfu in 1983. Um, and it's his take on, on Greek poetry. And it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, I just, yeah, it was, it, it's the kind of poetry that, that transports you and takes you to where it's describing. It was just so beautifully written and the illustrations that accompany each poem are just stunning. I mean, they really lend, they really lend themselves to 
to the poetry. Um, I shan't show you that one because it is a little bit risky. Um, I mean, just look at that, it's just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this and if you get a chance to read to read this, you won't be disappointed. Um, like I said before, with poetry and short story collections, there's some that you will love and some that you will not like so very much, um, but rarely you'll get one that you adore the entire thing from cover to cover and this was one for me. It was beautiful. So the next thing that I read was a play and I adored this. It's Akhenaten by Agatha Christie. I have done a whole uh, review on this on my channel. I will link it down below. You might not like it. I'm, not, I'm traditionally not very good at doing book reviews on my channel, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, so this tells the story of uh, Amenhotep the fourth, third? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a while since I've read them as well. Um, let me just see the cast list. So Amenhotep the fourth, yeah, and his he changes his name to Akhenaten because he changes the religion in ancient Egypt. Um, instead of uh, worshipping the sun god, they're worshipping the sun disc. Um, everything falls apart, the Egyptians hate it. He wants to rid the place of all the iconography, all the statues. Um, and yeah, Nefertiti is in this, uh, Tutankhamun is in this, and it's just beautiful. And spoiler alert, it turns into a proper Agatha Christie murder story it, because he is poisoned at the end and he dies and it's just fabulous. This has never been uh, on, the, on the stage um, other than uh, amateur dramatics groups. Apparently you can uh, apply via the Agatha Christie Society, you can apply for a license to, to put this on stage. I want to do it. Let's all just do it. Let's club together and do it be amazing. So yeah, that was Akhenaten by Agatha Christie. I adored this. So the next thing that I read was another collection of poetry and I didn't gel with this at all. Um, it was like a little pamphlet. Um, it's a year in poetry 2019. Um, firstly, let's all just go back to 2019 and pretend that 2020 hasn't happened so far. Um, I don't want to go forward in time, let's go back in time. But then this poet would have to live it all through again, which is not a great idea. But anyway, yeah, so this is the Faber and Faber um, A Year in Poetry 2019. Um, I purchased this from uh, Jean Mingus um, on her Instagram. She was selling off some of her books and I got the most gorgeous edition of Lani. The third edition of Lani that I now own. Um, so yeah, I saw it and I couldn't not have it and I thought I'm gonna have a go at that poetry. There was one poem in here that I read um, that had been in a previous uh, collection that I'd read that I'm also going to, to uh, wrap up and it was by uh, Mary Jean Chan and it was called Practice I do believe. That was the only poem in here that I absolutely adored because I, do I adored her poetry collection. Um, I'm glad I read this, I'm glad I've got it in my uh, in my collection. I, I don't have very many uh, poetry pamphlets, so yeah, there we go, but sadly I just didn't gel. Um, so the second last thing that I am showing you that I read, uh, again, not in order, um, is another collection of poetry. At this time is the Words from the Garden, a collection of beautiful poetry, prose and quotations, and this is edited by Isabel Carson. Carlson and it's written by various uh, authors. Um, there were everything from uh, Charlotte Bronte, uh, Charles Dickens, um, there was John Ruskin, uh, Sir William Temple, um, let's see, William Blake and uh, there was also Oscar Wilde in here. Um, I adored this. This was incredible. Um, just, <laughs> I wish I'd had this during the coronavirus lockdown because I spent so much time in the garden because the weather was just gorgeous. I think this is probably one of the best summers we've had in years. Um, 
the weather was amazing. I was so so in the, so much in the garden, and I wish I'd had this book at that time because it really would have lent itself to that whole experience and that whole spending time in the garden, getting sunburned and doing the gardening, cutting the grass. I just yeah, I I wish I'd had this during the lockdown. Um, and this is a book that I will read again because it's just it's just gorgeous and i think it, it would stand up to multiple rereads so that's words from the garden is uh, by isabel carlson um now the last thing that i read in august was flesh by mary jean chan again i adored this this was just so beautiful i've heard so many good things about it and they were all true and i just absolutely loved it it was incredible um so well written uh, kind of transported, transportative, trans, transportive, you know what I mean, um, it kind of made you feel like you were there, um, like that you were along with the, the writer as she was writing these, and it was just amazing. Um, so yeah, that is my August wrap-up. I read some absolutely incredible books, and I read a couple of not great ones <laughs> um but yeah that's that's that so thank you so much for watching whatever you're doing i hope you have so much fun doing it whatever you're reading i hope you love it stay fabulous be amazing be yourself stay safe and i'll see you again soon for another video bye bye